Here we are at the Extreme Fighting Championship. I'm here with Kieran Grant. Kieran, you've been a massive supporter of my channel and what I'm up to. You're a fighting man. Yes, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this show. It's going to be good. Um, I'm coming for 100%. I'm going to come for the stoppage. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah. Have you fought in a cage before? I haven't. No. 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 Have you stepped in the cage yet? I have. Yeah. And it feels insane. It's so daunting because you get in, you think, oh, this is different, and then that door shuts behind you, and it's a different oh, yeah. world. Yeah, definitely. Well, as soon as as soon as I'm in there, and that door gets closed, then it's me and my opponent, and yeah. It's yeah. Tell the viewers how many fights have you had, and what have you been up to recently? Uh, this is my 24th fight. I've had um, three losses now. Um, I've also um, won three belts. Uh, currently fighting for another title belt on, in May on Prince Promotions. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. How's be... your time with Prince Promotions been? Because I am guess you've been up there to Exeter and had a move around yeah. with Fahim. Um, how does he feel about you going in for other belts and how's that relationship working? Yeah, really good. Um, we've got plans in the pipeline that hopefully by the end of the year that I can uh, turn over, so turn pro professional. Okay. Um, that's in the pipeline. Uh, but Fahim's helped me f uh, for about five years now. Yeah. So, f like from where I was five years ago, where I am today, yeah. if it wasn't for Fahim, you yeah. know, it's, yeah. I won't be, I won't be doing it now. So. Yeah. Thank it's, you to Fahim. It, yeah, and, and thank you for Fahim because, um, you know, 18 months ago he brought a boxing ring down to yeah, Mabagisi yeah. and we've got a relationship going and he's always liking stuff that I do yeah. and he just wants to lift people because you can't do it all on your own. He needs people around to be successful yeah, so he can keep doing what he does. No, definitely. No, I do appreciate, you know, everyone and all the support and, and everything else. But yeah, yeah, it'd be good. So I've seen you fight before and you can brawl. Yeah. You can box, you can move, you can do a bit of everything. And I think you need to be able to do that because you don't know what's coming at you when you turn up to an event like this. Thing is, though, if, if I, you know, I brawl, I fight, I can box, but I'm ready for, like, in my eyes, I'm ready for anyone yeah. in that aspect. So, mm. but yeah. When they first suggested that, oh, you're going to be in uh, Penryn and you're going to fight in a cage, what was your first thought when you thought, oh, hello, this is different. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to do that. I was a bit nervous because I've never, obviously I've never fought in the ring before. But obviously, when I've just stepped in there now, you know, I'm a bit nervous. I'm nervous in every fight, but because I've stepped in that ring now, I feel a bit more comfortable, a yeah. bit more relaxed, yeah. and yeah, ready to put on fight tonight. How old are you now? 25. 25. So you've got another another five, ten years doing this <laughs> if you want it. Oh, definitely. I've got a few uh, injuries, like hand problems, that I need to deal with after yeah. this fight, before my next fight in May. Okay. Um, but yeah. Where, where are you based? Where are you living right now? I live in Sidmouth. Right. So obviously, you know, I travel to Exeter yeah. most, most days for the week. Yeah. Um, train at my local gym in Sidmouth as well, yeah. strength and conditioning. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So what's, what's Fahim doing there in Exeter? Has he got some secret weapons and some young kids coming up? You must be mixing in the gym and having to move around with some right characters down there with Fahim. Oh, mate, some of the people that train at Fahim's, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be future. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And were you there for his fight when he stepped back in the ring the other week? Did, it, did he actually get into the ring or did, was it not yeah. happening? He did get into the ring and, I'd say, and he uh, stopped the guy first round. Okay. Um, it was really good. Like, I was in the crowd and the head kick that yeah. come from Fahim was, yeah. well, I could feel it wow. in the crowd. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, um, when people saw him referee and he ref, ref my uh, first fight I back, that, yeah. and um, you know people were saying he looks bloody mean, he <laughs> looks good, and he always keeps about on point, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah, and he must have really enjoyed getting in shape for that with you guys. He must have really loved the training again. Yeah, he, he loves mixing in. He, you know, he always gives us the rounds when we need them, um, and yeah, he's very supportive. Yeah. And, he loves it as, as much as everyone else, you know. I've been trying to get an interview with you for a couple of years now. I keep seeing it at different shows and stuff, and we don't quite get it. So it's lovely, <laughs> lovely to see you here, no, mate. No, thank you, thank you. I'm going to wish you all the very yeah. best for tonight. No, I know you. it's going to be different. I need to get away from you now and let your, your head get into it. But, you know, uh, I know that you've been sparring with Ben Hood yeah. and you want to lift people around you and keep going. So I really, really wish you all the very best yeah. with whatever you no, do and you. continue that. friendship in the sport. Thank you Cheers. very much. Cheers, Ben. Thank you. Enjoy your night. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.